Hi guys, this is Nikolai from Blues Foreman School. So we continue our storytelling. So today I remember one interesting story about, um, you know, there are British English, American English, and there are a few words which are quite different. One very uh, kind of broadly known fact about subway. In America they say subway, in uh, England they say underground. And I experimented actually. I when I was in London, I asked the person in the street, excuse me sir, could you tell me where is the subway here? And he was like, I see he understands me, you know, I really see, but he's like, do you mean underground? Ah, oh, come on, I said, yes, it is, I mean underground station. And he said, okay, go there, and there, okay. So, um, what I wanted to say that they understand you, but they want to make sure they understand you correctly. Because subway in England could be, for example, subway, um, well, like underground passage, for example, something underneath, you know, under, un underground. And actually, it's funny that in America, it's all opposite. They say subway about our metro, you know, and uh, by the way, metro everybody understands too. So and they say underground passage, and uh, in England they say underground, but they say subway, you know, for about the passages, you know, or subway something. For example, there is a food store underneath under, underground. They say it's subway store something like this. So it may sound confusing, but you just use the words which are um, traditional locally where you are you know that's the way it is okay see you bye